What's cracking with your world? Welcome to a new series that we're going to be starting where we'll be talking about some of the latest news going on, a lot of the things that's happening in the music industry and things that can pose as detrimental to the future generations that's going to be coming behind us. So we'll be discussing a lot of the drug issues that's happening, a lot of the so-called gangster issues that's been happening. And it's almost like leaving a stigma as a, a blueprint as to what the youth need to follow. So the youth are looking up to some of these artists and, and I don't agree that they should be because of a lot of these artists say themselves that they're not role models but being their favorite artist hearing them all the time almost engaging into their lifestyle through their music hearing the stories uh hearing your background watching your documentaries you almost become like a hero to some of them because you made it out of a situation that they're currently in so they can almost like look at your blueprint if that's the career choice that they want to have so looking at meek mill we know he's been having some issues with some of the people back in Philly, so he decides now I'm gonna go back to Philly to shoot my music video. I don't, I hate that artists wait until they become millionaires, start having conversations with billionaires, get next to Jay Z, get next to really great opportunities, really great situations to turn around and attempt to prove to a hood that cares nothing about you, to a hood that will pride themselves off of taking you away from this earth, from a hood that would wouldn't mind taking you away from your mother, your child, your aunt, your uncle. Meek Mill has a lot of people that he needs to feed. Dream chasers, that's that's his people that he needs to feed. Meek Mill has children. Meek Mill has a mother. Meek Mill has family. And he is the breadwinner of the situation. He is the one that's going to be opening gates and opportunities for everyone on his side of the family to be able to thrive and make it to the next level. Not that all of them want to be artists, but if you are artists, you're talking to real estate moguls. You're talking to authors. You're talking to business moguls you're talking to very powerful people that can empower your family that can empower your people that can bring them up to a different situation you can show them different ways out of the hood but instead you want to go back and prove to a hood that's looking forward to killing you that you can come back to a hood that's looking forward to killing you we have to stop doing this I don't get why we care about what these broke people think about us. I'll never understand why we care if they say we could come back to a hood that we struggled to make it out of. We sold drugs to make it out of these hoods. We risked our lives to make it out of this hood. Some people were kicking in doors, doing home invasions, one of the most dangerous things that you could be doing. You made it through all of that, finally made it out that hood. Now you're gonna try to go back to that hood to prove something to people who don't care about you? Young people. Do not follow this blueprint. You don't have to go back to that hood. You made it out of that hood. You made it far away. There's no reason for you to go back there to prove something to people who are struggling to make $10 a day that you can come back around them. You don't need to be around them. You've made new friends. You've made new ventures. You probably made a new home. You probably done moved Atlanta, California. You done got up in the mountains in a nice mansion where you got some kind of tranquility where you can thrive where you can have a little peace of mind where you don't have to fall asleep to the sound of sirens and gunshots and helicopters you made it out of that there's no reason for you to have to go back to that situation just to prove something to people who are looking forward to seeing you dead they've been hating on you since high school they've been hating on you since middle school they still mad about that girl that you took from them in the ninth grade they still mad that you used to be a bum and now out of everybody in their area you happen to be the one to make it out they're still angry that they girlfriend keep on listening to you they're still angry when the girls that they meet are listening to you and talking about you and saying how handsome you are they, they're angry about these situations so they can't wait to have an opportunity to be able to get that conversation out of the people's mouths that's around them do not give them that opportunity do not present yourself on a silver platter to the fucking wolves that that is the dumbest thing that you can do and i don't want the youth thinking that this is what you have to do to prosper you don't owe those people nothing you don't have to go back to that hood for what for what? If you're not going back there to open no business and hire people, and I'm still saying that you might not need to be around in those kind of situations because look what happened in Nipsey. And I'm not saying just because that happened in Nipsey, don't go back to your hood, don't rebuild. But I'm telling you, if you're going to go back to your hood and you need to rebuild, you don't always have to show face. And if you do show face, bodyguard yourself up. There's nothing wrong with having bodyguards. Only people that'll tell you that you're not gangster for having bodyguards is people who ain't worth no money. If you are worth millions of dollars, if you are the breadwinner for your family, you need bodyguards. Especially if you can't legally carry a firearm by yourself. Don't be out here catching little Wayne guns 
gun charges. Don't be out here catching NBA young boy gun charges. Don't be out here risking your freedom to carry a pistol. No, you got the money, hire security. If you have to go back there for a business venture, nine out of 10 times, you don't have to show no face. You pop in real quick, make sure that the architects is doing their job. Make sure that the vending's going on good. Make sure that they hire good management, good employees, and you get right up out of there. You don't tell people when you coming. You don't tell people when you leaving. There's no reason to get on Instagram and explain to everybody, yo, I'm coming back tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to be doing a signing. No, 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 no. I'm going to be doing a signing in somewhere safe that's surrounded by bodyguards. So if anybody act up, I got these legal people that's going to smoke you. They're going to call the police to come and clean your fucking body up, and we're going to call it a day. But I don't have nothing to prove to y'all. I'm not a gangster. I don't care about being a gangster. I'm a millionaire. There's nothing more gangster than education. There's nothing more gangster than knowledge. There's nothing more gangster than making money. Nothing more gangster than that. All the bullets I could fly in the world ain't gonna be more gangster than making sure that my daughter comes in to a hundred K when she uh when she turns 18. Nothing more gangster than making sure that I can offer my children every bit of opportunity that is available to them for them to make it into the future and build generational wealth. There's nothing more gangster than making sure that my mama don't gotta fall asleep to the sound of gunshots, having drive-bys with straight bullets killing children, mothers, aunts, uncles. There's nothing more gangster than getting my family out of that situation and once I get my family out of that situation I'm not in any rush to go backwards to invite myself back to those kind of problems no I avoided those problems I lived that life I did that already I don't have to go back and prove nothing to y'all now I'm not going back to my hood to shoot no music videos what I'm, ju I'm just a sitting fucking duck going back to a hood that didn't even appreciate me until the other hoods appreciated me just to go and do music videos to prove to people I could go back what if I'm not there buying real estate, if I'm not there opening business, if I'm not there to do any of that, I'm not going back. And I don't care what people are going to say to me about this. I don't care how people are going to feel about this situation. I don't care about if you think that I'm gangster or not. I don't care. I don't care. I'm here for one thing, to take care of my family, build generational wealth, make sure that we get some LLCs, make sure that we start some corporations, make sure that this family will prosper long after I'm gone and my grandchildren's grandchildren will be able to live off of my name. I can't do that if I die prematurely because I wanted to go back to a hood that did not care about me in the first place. People. Y'all have to stop listening to artists that's promoting this kind of nonsense. And I'm not saying don't listen to them because their music is still very good. I still want these black men to be able to get money. But this is a dangerous message to the children that are up and coming right now. We see what the drill era did to the children. We see what sliding and, uh, uh, and GDK and talking about people's dead homies and talking about people's dead mothers and how, how it became cool when uh, the rappers begin to do it. So you actually have to censor what's going on in your children head like even if that's what I want to listen to when my children are around I listen to an entire different kind of music because I don't want to implant that into their head until I know that they already got their mindset so it won't make sense to them to turn around and want to do this now when they know that it doesn't make them any money when they know it's not beneficial when they know it's not something that they want to be involved in why go get an illegal gun when I could have 30 legal guns that's stupid. I'm not going to ride around that 16 years old with a pistol in my lap. That's illegal. I could just wait until I'm 18. I'll, I'll work my company, get my money in the meantime. The second I'm 18, I'm in that gun range. I'm making sure that I can shoot a certain percentage every week. And I'm back in the gun range, making sure that I'm getting some kind of training, make sure I'm getting some kind of military training just in case anything does hit the fan. And I don't have to risk my life for this. This is the kind of messages that you want to be giving people. I'm not saying not to listen to no type of hood music, no type of gangster music, because I like it too. But I've already lived it. I'm not looking forward to going back. Trust me when I make it out of the situation that I am. I am not going backwards to prove nothing. If they tell me that I can't come back to my hood, I can have it. You can have the garbage filled streets. You can have the crackheads on every corner. You can have the random shootouts killing children. You can have all of this nonsense. People stealing cars, kicking in your front door, duct taping your mother, uh, uh, tying your mother up, throwing her in the bathroom, taping her mouth. That Y'all can have that. If y'all want to stay in that area and y'all want to claim that area, even though y'all don't own no property in that area, y'all paying white people who live outside of that area to live in that area. If that's what you want to claim, you can have it, bro. You can have it gladly on a silver platter. Here you go. You can have that hood to yourself. I live on 18, 20, 30 acres 
I could fit I could fit your block in my backyard. That's where I live. That's what I want to claim. I own this. This is mine. I paid cash. My name is on the title. My children have access to this. We can use it as leverage to be able to take out loans to start other businesses. I don't care about claiming the hood that I have no ownership in. Ownership is going to be the key to the game. Don't go back trying to prove nothing to nobody. You don't owe nobody nothing. When you make it out of your hood, you stay out of your hood unless you're going back to rebuilding your hood. And even when you rebuild in your hood, you make sure that you are safe. I'm not telling you to go get 10 of your homies from off the corner with their illegal guns to come and protect you. I'm telling you to hire legal security that can off a nigga if he run up on you. No questions asked. Don't ask questions. Shoot first. Ask questions later. Those are the type of people who I want to hire. So when he get killed, I ain't getting no case over this. My security seen something that looked funny. He aired his ass out. Um, Bring the uh, fire department to come and water hose this blood up. Pick the body up. Bring him to the morgue. I ain't got nothing to do with this. That's the type of way I want to go about it. And then when he's dead, I'll never speak about it again. Don't ask me about it in no interviews. I have no idea what you're talking about. It's an unfortunate situation, but he ran up and that was the end of his life and the fucking conversation. That's the way that we need to move. So Meek Mill has been putting out very dangerous information. Meek Mill has been putting out very dangerous circumstances for the youth to be in. Giving the youth $20 for uh, water and then uh, saying, what am I supporting? Never once ask Gucci what they support when he goes and spends that money. Never ask Rolex who they supporting when he goes and raps about that Roly that he's been talking about for the last 12 years. Never ask Prada. Never ask Louis. Never ask Giuseppe. Never ask the uh, corner stores, the ox in the corner store. Never ask the people in the gas station what he's supporting when he's giving them their money. But when it comes to the people who supported him, the people who were there when he got arrested for popping that willy, for the people who've been buying his album since he was Dusty Meek Mills with the dirty cornrows, those people that supported him, now you want to know what you're supporting when you give them that? It was about six or eight children. You decided to give them $20, $20, and then you wonder why they have no faith in us no more. You wonder why you think that they have to go to white folks for a handout afterwards because the black people that are in a position to be able to help them are the ones that's not helping them. A white lady would have gave those eight children more than $20 if they seen them on the side of the highway talking about we trying to get the water hustle going. We trying to show kids that you ain't got to be robbing and stealing. You ain't got to sell drugs. You can make money in a different way. That's what you supporting. You supporting these young men that may not have no father figures in their life. They may be the man of their household at 12 years old. That's what you supporting. They may have little sisters, nieces, nephews, aunts. Their mama might be sick. They might be out there selling this water to get uh, the medicine for their mother. You have no idea, but you want to ask them what you supporting? These are the type of people who we can't afford to support. These are the type of people you don't even want to speak to. These are the type of people you don't even want to listen to. If they don't want to give us enough respect to influence our youth in the right way to fund our youth in the right way then what are we doing supporting these kind of people let them fall to the wayside the next time you get into some trouble don't look for us because we're going to be asking you what are we supporting we're going to ask you what are we supporting the same way you decided to ask those children what are you supporting so y'all make sure that y'all like y'all make sure that y'all comment y'all make sure that y'all subscribe and hit that notification bell we're going to keep you updated on all sorts of information we got a whole lot more news coming up this will be updated about three or four times a week we're going to have constant updates on this live streams about these conversations so y'all make sure that y'all like subscribe comment hit the notification bell you already know low key low ski over and out Peace.